this old album makes me remember so many things in the past. San Francisco and the house on Steiner Street where I was born. It brings back memories of my cousins and the aunts and uncles, all the boys and girls I grew up with. And I remember my family as we were then. My brother Nels, my little sister Dagmar, and of course, Papa. But most of all, when I look back to those days so long ago, most of all, I remember Mama. Just about by to give you the money I collected for the Red Cross. Oh. Now, here it is. It comes to $8.17. <laughs> I will keep this separate till I get my figures straightened out. Oh, I wish I could never have anything to do with arithmetic or money. Oh, well, now, let me see, Mrs. Hanson. Um. Oh, here. Here's your mistake. Huh? Ah, there. Now it's all straight. <laughs> It is you who should have been the treasurer and not me. No, yes, I was always quick at figures. I remember Father saying I was a better bookkeeper than any man in his office. <laughs> he used to bring work home so I could help him in the evening. Yeah, then. Uh, you not have some coffee? Oh, I shouldn't. I have so much to do. I was just making some. Come in the kitchen. Well, all right, just for a moment. <laughs> and will you sit down? Uh, Oh, Mrs. Hanson, I'm so exhausted. I've been walking since early morning up one street and down another. Yeah? I had no idea it would be so difficult to find a new place for Miss Jessie's garden. <laughs> That's what I call my nursery school, you know. Oh, yeah, you teach the little ones. Yes, I've been holding school in that big front room at Gibson's, but their daughter and her husband are moving in, so naturally I have to go. Oh, that is too bad. It's dreadful. And as for finding another place, well, Mrs. Hanson, you wouldn't believe what they want to charge for rooms that I'd be ashamed to have the children walk into. Yeah, so many new people moving in. Oh, and what's so exasperating about it is that I if only need it for two weeks. My cousin is moving into her new house the first of the month, and she's letting me have a splendid big room. Oh, that is good. But what am I going to do now? Here I am at the beginning of the term with more tiny ones in row than I've ever had before and no place to put them. But that is too bad. Will you have sugar and cream? Uh, yes, just a little cream, please. And you know what will happen, Mrs. Hanson. What will happen? If I can't find another place, the mothers will send those children over to Clarice Morton's. Clarice Morton? A so-called friend of mine. At least I used to think she was a friend of mine. Until without the slightest warning, she opened another nursery school in direct competition to me. Oh, well, maybe there will be enough little ones for both schools. Oh, no, there aren't. Oh, no, Mrs. Hanson. Not every family can afford it, you know. And one can only draw on the immediate neighborhood here. Oh, dear, I just don't know what I'm going to do. All those precious, precious babies, all waiting to start Monday morning and no place to put them. I'll be ruined, Mrs. Hanson, absolutely ruined. People will feel they can't depend on me anymore. Well, then we must find a place. I will help. Oh, will you? Yeah. First, we will speak to my sister, Jenny, and then we will ask all the people we know in the church. Oh, a new home for Miss Jessie's garden. <gasps> Mrs. Hanson, we've got to find one somewhere. Good morning again, Papa. What's happened to your game? Oh, well, I was not trying, I guess. <laughs> oh, tonight I feel lazy. Ah, but next week I'm going to sleep late every morning. What is that? Yeah, I have a little surprise for you, Martha. It'll be one whole week before the new job starts, so I will have a nice rest. Oh. You'll never rest, Papa. Oh. You'll be building shelves, fixing the door, painting the back porch. No, Nels, not this time. No work. I'm just going to sit in the parlor all day and do nothing. Not one thing. <laughs> oh, it'll be wonderful. Hmm. What'd you say, Martha? Hmm. Nothing. Good grief. What's this? What? Mabel Muskrat and her friend Betsy Beaver at the seashore. Oh, that is just a book that Miss Jessie left here. Miss Jessie Parks, what was she doing here? She just brought me some money from the Red Cross. Oh, well, I'm glad I was not home. Oh, that Miss Jessie, my, oh, my. <laughs> well, 
She was just a poor woman all alone doing the best she can. Yeah, that is all right, Martha, so long as she is not around me. Talk, 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 talk. I have never heard a woman talk so much and, and say nothing. Well, I would not say that. One morning after Mabel Muskrat was through ironing the clothes, cleaning her house, and baking a pan of chocolate cookies, she said to herself, I think I will go over and see my good friend, Betsy Beaver. Oh, boy, I'll bet the kids go nutty over this one. <laughs> but she only has the tiny little ones. Mm, and the Gibsons were glad she moved out. They were looking for a good excuse. I think they might have let Miss Jessie stay a little bit longer. Can't, Mama. Stella and her husband are moving in. I know. But the poor children have no place for their school now. Now, Martha. I think it is a shame. Martha, there is nothing you can do about it. Ah, one whole week to rest. I'll get it. No, no, no. I forgot. Oh, Miss Jessie. Oh, Mrs. Hanson, I thought you wouldn't mind if I brought my things over tonight, so I'll be ready to start the first thing Monday morning. No, that is all right. Uh, put them here. Oh, all right. Now, there are a few more out on the porch. I'll bring them by here. Oh, 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 be that clumsy of me. Oh, Mrs. Hanson, I'm usually much more tidy than this. Do forgive me. <clears throat> um, no, sir. I told Miss Jessie that uh, that she could use the room just for two weeks till she goes into a new place. Oh, I almost forgot the chairs. Chairs? The chairs, yes, they're all in the car with Mr. Gibson. Uh, Mr. Hanson, I wonder if you and Nels will be good enough to help me with them. Oh, and Mrs. Hanson, I forgot to tell you that on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, the children leave at noon. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they uh, stay till three, and I serve a little lunch. Mm. Now, I'll just get these things out of your way. Oh, okay. uh, uh, yes. Of course, the lunch is no trouble, just sandwiches and cocoa and a bit of fruit. Naturally, I do it all myself. Uh, here, I hope you won't mind, Mrs. Hanson, but we must get these fragile things out of the way. Oh. And uh, this, and uh, this. Of course, they're all little ladies and gentlemen, every one of them. But we can't take chances. Oh, that's fine. Bring them in and put them in two rows down in front of the sofa. That's fine, right there. And I'll get this bag. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And now we're all ready for Miss Jessie's garden. Oh, and Mrs. Hanson, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, about the, uh, Teacher. Oh, oh, be quiet, be quiet, so we can hear Edna finish the story of a little I buttercup. Now, go ahead, Edna. And little buttercup said, I'm glad I'm not, uh, uh... A rose. A rose, or a lily, or any of those proud, haughty, Haughty flowers in the greenhouse. And uh, I don't remember the rest, Miss Jessie. I'd rather bloom here in the meadow beside the laughing brook with God's beautiful blue sky overhead. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, now, would anybody else like to recite? She does, she does. Oh, all right, dear, now go right over there. Go over there and do yours. <clears throat> what are you going to do, dear? Couldn't you do the ballerina for us? Go do a ballerina for us. I'd like to be a little ballerina. I'm rather pretty kind of that to do. And I could get to like a ballerina. I'm sure to hire a very pretty to, to be the real bad in my bath. I like to move on the top. I like to be a little ballerina. Now, and that's to, to everybody, to Yes, that's fine, dear. That's fine. Now, that's enough. Now, we'll form the magic circle. Hi! Magic circle, everyone. Magic circle. That's right. Now, slowly. <laughs> This was supposed to be my week of peace and quiet. 
I'm sorry, Lars. I did not know you were going I to be home. I will be so glad to get back to work. Even with all the sawing and the hammer, and it's better than this. beautiful colors of the spring flowers. Now, let's see who can make the most beautiful necklace of all. I don't want a string bead. Oh, yes, you do, Claude. Oh, you won't have a lovely necklace like this to wear like the others. <clears throat> oh, well, now... Boys you... don't wear beads. Indian boys do. Now, you just pretend you're a, a little Indian boy. All right. I'm an Indian boy. Oh! And he's going to tell us all about the army. Oh, yeah. me? Gosh, I don't know anything. <laughs> well, I, uh... <laughs> Oh, I am so sorry, Mrs. Hanson. But the doctor says I have to stay in bed for the rest of this week at least. Oh, yes, a, a very bad cold. And, and laryngitis. And with all this influenza around, we have to be careful. Oh, I, I, I don't know what to do about the, about the children. I haven't had time to notify their mothers. If you could possibly keep them there for just a day, Mrs. Sanders, I'd be so great, <laughs> grateful. Goodbye. So now you must run the school, too. Now, yeah, but just for today. But, Martha, this is not fair to you. But what could I do? I must help her. The poor lady, she did not want to get sick. But, Martha, what will you do? These children, they're like, they're like wild animals from the zoo. Now, how will you manage them? And now, you will please remember that I have had some dealings with children before this. I will manage. Now, come, children. Come and all be quiet and sit down here. Wait till I put the couch around here. We have not got to share. Mm. There we are now. You all get in the, in the couch. Will you all sit down in the couch? And I'll put my chair over here. What is this? What is he going to do? There she's I'll going to find the place. Will you down. come and sit down, please? Will you come and sit down? Now. There's no room for me. Yeah, there is right there. Now. Ah. <clears throat> Now, you must be quiet, because if you're not quiet, then you will not get any lunch, and you will not like that, What's huh? For lunch? What's going to be for lunch? Oh, something good, something lunch? very good. Can I help you fix it, Mrs. Hanson? We will see. Me too. Can I help? <laughs> you little... can. You spill things. <laughs> I want to help. <laughs> well, we will see who can help and who cannot, but it is a long time till lunch now. <laughs> now, Miss Jessie is not going to be here this morning, but we will do just what you do when she is here. It's Thursday. Thursday, we stick those little red and green things into that board with holes uh, in it. Oh, well. I don't want to do that. We play that game where we're caterpillars and butterflies. I don't like that game. I hate being butterflies. Well, since I do not know any of the games, maybe we better think of something else. We don't know anything else to do, Mrs. Hanson. Uh -huh. We always do just the same thing. Butterflies. I hate being butterflies. Well, maybe we think of something new. What? Well, I do not know. You tell me. We got to tell you what oh. to do? No, no, no. But um, since you do not like being butterflies and we can do How something about else. Words? Oh, wait a minute. I, you will do some things and I will guess hey, what they you are. You mean we can all play like we're something different? Yeah. See, Mrs. Sanson, that'll be fun. Now, what, what would you like, Claude? What would you I'll like be to be? Mouse. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Claude is first. <laughs> Why do you wait a minute? Your turn. You want to go and do it with what you see here? Go on, what are you? Watch. Oh, what is he? A squirrel. That's right. <laughs> now, who else? Me. Okay, me, now. Me, me, see if I can guess. I'm a mouse. It's a pussycat. No. Oh, Edna, let me try and guess what you will be. What are you I'm going to try mommy. to be? Yeah, I'm you will. Now watch this. Watch this, Mousy. Watch this. Watch. Now we're supposed to guess this, you know. Everybody must watch. See what yeah. she's going to 
going to do? <laughs> oh! So Mama and the nursery school got along just fine. <laughs> Kids seemed to be having fun, but Mama had more fun than anybody. And since Miss Jessie was sicker than she thought, Mama had to take care of... I'm gonna see why you want to start that now, Martha. After ten days with no shooting, I think you need a rest. I did not mind them. Well, speak for yourself. No, I did not. Of course, I would not like to have them here always, that is sure. Well, uh, anyway, you'll have a little peace and quiet now that Miss Yessie has found her new place. Hello, Mr. Tassie. Oh, well, hello, Lucille. Well, Edna, but there is no school today. Oh, indeed, there is not. This is Saturday. I know, but we didn't have anything to do. <laughs> Can't we help Mrs. Hanson? Well, well, just be in your way. No, we won't. We know how to do lots of things. Mrs. Hanson taught us. Me too. I can help. <laughs> well, maybe can't just... she? If she does just what we tell her. Well, maybe we can find enough things for both of you to do. We oh, have oh. all those nuts to crack. Oh, now then, I will be back in just a minute. Stay there. Oh, Mrs. Oh, Hanson, I'm so yes, sorry yes. to bother you, but I forgot to give you this. Oh, what is it? The rent for the two weeks for the room. Oh, but I did not want any money. Oh, but you must take it. I wouldn't feel right about it if you didn't. It's just what I paid the Gibsons for their room. Oh, but I did not expect anything. Oh, well, it's the least I can do. I can never thank you enough. Why, well, if it hadn't been for you, the children would all have been enrolled at Clary's Morton's, and I'd never get them back. Why, Lucille, what are you doing here? There isn't any school today. Uh, but Lucille and Edna are helping me in the kitchen. Oh, well, isn't that nice? And there'll be lots you can help me with when we move to our brand new schoolroom Monday morning. I want to stay here. But the school isn't going to be here anymore, Lucille. We're moving to a brand new wonderful room with three big windows and red and white curtains. I told you uh, all about that, Lucille. Monday we go to a new place. I do want to go with you. I want to stay with Mrs. Hanson. But Lucille, the school isn't going to be here anymore. We're all going to be together in our brand new school Monday morning. I don't want to go with you. I don't like you. Lucille, you stop that. I don't like you. Nobody likes you. We never had any fun with you. Why, Lucille? Nobody I... wants to be in your old school. We want to stay with Mrs. Hanson. Lucille, wait till I tell your mother what you said. I don't care. I don't care. No, no, you go into the kitchen, Lucille. Edna, take her into the kitchen. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> Children, they do not always mean what they say. Don't they, Mrs. Hatson? It's my experience they always mean what they say. Or what they've been told to say. It's just a... Do you not see? I it? see a great deal, Mrs. Hanson. I'm glad I found this out today, before the other children tell me the same thing Monday morning. But they will be all right once they are in the new place. We shall see. Oh, yes, we shall see. In any case, it's fortunate for me that I wasn't gone any longer. Under the circumstances, I must insist upon your taking this two weeks' rent. No, no, Mrs. Earhart. I do not mind that Edna and Lucille come over to see me, but when they are supposed to be at Miss Jessie's, it is not right. Well, I am sorry, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Well, uh, goodbye. Hello? Oh, hello, Jenny. Oh, Jenny, I, I did not mean to do anything. But, no, I was just trying to help. Oh. Hmm. Well, I cannot help it what the ladies in the church are saying. And I cannot help it what Miss Jessica is saying about me. No, I have not seen her again, and I do not want to see her again. 
Well, if my own sister cannot understand, goodbye, Yenny. For church does. Captain and Dagmar have gone on ahead. Your mama's still upstairs. Hurry up, mama. We're going to be late. Oh, and Nels, do not say anything to your mama about Miss Yesse or the school or the children. Never even seen her act so like this before. Don't worry, Papa. I won't bring up the subject. Martha, you are not ready. We will be late for church. I'm not going to church. Why not, Martha? I will not feel right to go today. What's the matter, Martha? I am so boiling mad inside with those women and their wagging tongues that I do not think God would like to see my angry face in his house. So, I will stay home till I can cool off. Oh, Mama, don't pay any attention to those old biddies. You both go on ahead. Oh, good morning. May I come in? Mrs. Hanson, I know you don't want to see me. But there's something I must tell you. Uh, Nels, you and I will go on ahead. You will come, Martha? I will see. Will you not sit down? Well, I can't stay but a moment. Mrs. Hanson, I hope you don't think I've been talking about... about the things that happened. Well, maybe I did, just at first. I couldn't seem to stop myself. I felt so terrible about everything. Yeah, I have not felt very good myself. But that was just at first. After I had a chance to think, I saw that I had nobody to blame but myself. After Father uh, went away, I had to do something. Well, there weren't a great many things I could do. But I thought it would be nice to have children around. I'd always love them. Oh, I still do love them more than anything, Mrs. Hanson. You must believe that. Yeah, I believe that. I loved them, but I didn't know anything about them. They frightened me. Oh, they still do sometimes. I think there's nothing so frightening as a child when you don't know what to do or say. Yeah, that is so. And I never seemed to learn anything, but I kept on trying. But it never got any better. Some people just can't seem to get through to children. No matter how much they love them, how much they try. Sometimes we try too hard. We not leave them anything to do for themselves. Well, in any case, it wasn't any good. You saw what happened the minute I was gone. Yes, and I saw it too. You didn't even have to try. And everything will be all right when they get to do new place. Oh, no, no. I, I'm not going to have the school anymore. Oh. I telephoned all the mothers and notified them. And I advise them to send the children to Clarice Morton's. I hope they will. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. It's quite all right. I expect she's very good with them. And she's bought all my equipment. Even the little chairs. She says I can visit any time I like. But I expect I'm going to be much too busy. Too busy? Yes. I told you I had to do something. So I... Answered an advertisement in the paper, a shipbuilding company, and they're giving me the position. It's really a very good one. I'm to do the bookkeeping. You remember I told you my father said I was better at it than any man in his office. And I'll be helping the war effort, too. Oh, I expect I might even get to enjoy it. Well, I mustn't keep you any longer, Mrs. Hanson. You'll be wanting to go to church. Are you... Are you not going to? Oh... I don't know. Those women. Why do we not go together? I get my hat. <laughs> Thank you. Come along. <laughs> 